up? Yes, I do. In the family? Well, what this is, look at this. Jack Reacher, that movie that was in theaters, it is a uh, solar oh, boy. recharger. You put it out, light creates the battery power inside, and then, hang on, wait, there's more. You plug it in right to your laptop, and so you got backup power brought to you by the sun. That's cool. Uh huh. Okay, so which prize would you like to play for? My feelings won't be hurt, Deborah. My feelings won't be hurt. Well, you know, my daughter loved the movie Lights Out. Well, oh, really? so you're going oh. for the coffee mug. Awesome. Yeah. Very nice. That's a delightful Thank choice. Thank you. Good. I'm glad she likes it. This will be filled up with a delightful selection of teas for you from um, that Tammy orders for us you all the time. You have to sell it. She already picked it. Okay, I'm just yeah, yeah. Here's your question. Yesterday on the show, John Jordan gave me a new hairstyle. What had, what did he do to switch up my look? Mm -hmm. Put a bang in the side of your hair. That's right. Very nice. Very nice. Congratulations, Deborah. Yeah. Good job. Have a wonderful, wonderful and weekend. It and of course, good. happy it, Thanksgiving. It did. She it said it looked good. good. Oh, thank you. I didn't hear that part. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank have, you. Have a great weekend. Nice Thanksgiving. You know, if you want to be our Thank live, you. you're welcome. If you want to be our Live in the D fan of the day, just follow that link on our Live in the D Facebook page. For contest rules, go to clickondetroit.com. You'll find them under the Scene on 4 tab. All right, still ahead on Live in the D, take a look at this guy. Where can you visit him and a bunch of his friends? Look at him. He's this weekend, you can visit this guy and a lot more. Ooh. Super fluffy. And next, get ready to dine in the D at one place in Metro Detroit where their delicious menu won't break your bank and it will definitely fill your stomach. So last week we were having a discussion, our Live in the D staff, right, mm -hmm. about uh, which place we should check out to dine in the D when producer Jay brought up a fact that he thinks that there's a place we need to know about. It's his favorite and it's in Royal Oak. Yep. So our Michelle Oliver headed over to Jim Brady's Detroit and she learned this new restaurant which has a really new story. Walking into Jim Brady's Detroit is like taking a step back in time. My grandfather back in 1954 had come up with the idea of adding a flat top grill to what back then was just a bar atmosphere. And it was kind of groundbreaking at the time. You know, bars were just bars. They used that flat top to grill the burger that made them famous. The Diamond Jim Brady Special Sandwich was one of the very first things that people really responded to. But what was really unique is, is in that kind of atmosphere, being able to come in and, and get shrimp cocktail. You know, you could get a Delmonico steak, you could get a Caesar salad, chili. Like having like a hot item was very unique at that time. And those dishes are still on their menu today. But that isn't the only thing that Jim Brady's Detroit kept from the original. We ended up calling it Jim Brady's Detroit because the thought is really of trying to represent what my grandfather's Detroit looked and felt like. So we really kind of looked at a lot of the unique things that he did and said if he were to open today and do a lot of those exact same things, what would it look and feel like? The whole place has a retro chic vibe. They still have a long bar running the length of the restaurant, and there's still a Brady behind it. They kept the street lights and signs on the ends of the booths, and then there's this phone in the woman's bathroom. My grandfather used to call them water closets, you know, and so in, in, the, in the ladies' water closet, he installed a working pink payphone and put a little pink chair right there in case a girl was on a bad date. She could go into the ladies' water closet, she could make a phone call for a ride, she could sit on the little chair and just wait. There was an escape route, right, if, if things weren't going great. In terms of new things, they have expanded their menu to include inventive new items, like this sandwich with fries in it. Scratch-made food, big, bold flavors, uh, a lot of value, and, uh, you know, we put our spin on it. Like the Inferno Burger, a twist on their iconic dish. It starts with an eight ounce patty. This is the same way we did it in, uh, in the 50s. We tested with a lot of people that used to go to Jim Brady's and we had them taste them trying to get the, the exact same grind, the, the same fat content of beef and that type of thing. We sprinkle on some of their secret seasoning and ancho chili powder to kick it up a notch. Then onto the flat top it goes. And then the trick of it is to not flip the burger over and not press it. So it sears it, but it almost gets crunchy on the one side. Holding in the juices. Yeah, exactly. 
Next, we butter up the bun and toast it. They still get these buns from the same local place they have since the 50s. We flip the burger and top it with ghost pepper cheese. So for those of you who have never tried ghost pepper, I have. It is insanely hot. Like, you need a glass of milk. So how hot is this cheese in it's comparison hot. to that? It's very hot. It's not your average jalapeno jack cheese. Once the cheese is melted, we begin to build the burger. We spread on some ancho chili aioli and top the burger with jalapeno bacon. And then we put our sexy onions, we call these. These are sexy? What makes them sexy? Come on, what are you talking about? <laughs> we finish it with a jalapeno, a warning of the inferno inside. All right, hey, they are sexy. Tom Brady is here, owner of Jim Brady's Detroit. How you doing? I'm doing great. How you Good guys to doing? see Sorry. you. Thank you for Congrats being here. Us, on what's Thank going you on? So much. You brought an amazing spread, but there's so much going on in that piece. You have to tell us about how your grandfather put the phone in there. You told me this camera, this story off camera. It's too you know, good. No, he uh, he. A couple of years after he opened in 1954, he okay. wanted to make the bar a place where women felt very comfortable. Mm -hmm. So he had an all pink bathroom and he found himself <laughs> a pink payphone and he put it in there, a working pink payphone with a little pink chair. Okay. And in case a woman was on a bad date, you know, nobody had a cell phone. Sure. Right? right? So they could sneak back into the bathroom, they could make a phone call, they wow. could sit in the chair, wait for the ride, and then he had a little door into the alley they could sneak out. Yeah, there you go. Flip so out the pink way. Panther out the yes, back door. I love That's it. That's an original menu, so yes. that goes back to the original pink phone too, that right? Goes back there you to go. the original phone. Yeah, it's a um, it's a, a little bit of a relic. My family's been great at preserving the history of Diamond Jim Brady. Sure. And uh, something fun that we're doing, um, items that were on that menu that we serve today in Royal Oak, we're going to be uh, on November 30th. We're having a one-year anniversary, and we're going to charge the 1954 prices for all the items that we serve today. Oh, is that cool? Yeah, which, awesome. and, and it's it's really exciting. You know, we're, we're teaming up with the Boys and Girls Club of America. All the burger That's proceeds great. sales that day are going to the guys over at that so club. So this was on the original menu, that and this is how original. much now with the throwback price? Throwback price, that's the Charlie Brown burger, which is the original bacon and Swiss burger Look on the menu that. in Detroit, and it's $1.55. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be in with 12 people yeah. on yeah. the day. All day, Wednesday, November All right, give us Friday. a quick tour. We yeah. got about a okay. minute. All right, so right here we've got the black sesame seared tuna, right. a wonderful dish. Look There's some this. cauliflower wow. puree, roasted cauliflower. Uh, as we make our way around the corner this way, we've got my grandmother's recipe for her carrot cake, which has been around since the mm -hmm. 40s. It is, we serve it nice and warm. Mm -hmm. It's the juiciest carrot cake you've ever had. There's oh. always room. Yeah, no always. How yeah. Uh, in front of that, we've got our buffalo wedge salad. Uh, we do the wedge a little differently, where we kind of we, we cut a little slab of lettuce right there, and then top it with interesting. The, uh, yeah, okay. Our red hot honey, some blue cheese crumbles. It's it's a really flavorful great. dish. Uh, we've got our grilled kale and baby uh, kale or uh, baby kale grilled salmon salad in the front. Watermelon radishes are the really cool looking colored radishes you see yeah. right there with nice. the lemon vinaigrette, candied walnuts, some feta, and some grapefruit avocado. Uh, we've got our barbecue, uh, uh, blackened chicken, gouda quesadilla. We've got smoked gouda, blackened chicken, grilled pineapple, grilled corn. One of the cool things about that dish is we make a rock and rye barbecue sauce in house. Awesome. Okay. So it's awesome. got some wonderful flavor and color right there. Uh, we've got some amazing mac and cheese. That's our Main Street mac and cheese. It's a five cheese sauce we make every day. Oh, oh my goodness. It's got smoked chicken, tomatoes, peas, asparagus. It's topped with a little rich uh, mm. cheddar crust that we torture. And real quick, right we'll end here. Steak bites. Ooh. Yeah. I'll Everybody handle. loves that. All right, Who so doesn't? remind everybody where you are. We're on uh, 1214 South Main in Royal Oak, right across from the Holiday Market, the old Oxford Inn. And okay. then, uh, you know, all day on November 30th, throwback pricing. And uh, it's, it's for a great cause for the people over at the Boys and Girls Club. That's wonderful. All and right. if you guys want to try out Jim Brady's Detroit, we're giving away $10.50 Whoa. gift cards. So generous That's of great. you. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. To enter, go to our Facebook page, Contest Rules. Visit clickondetroit.com. Good to see you, Tom. Hey, much Thank success. You. Nice yeah. to meet you guys. Thanks, Thanks so much for having too. me. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Next on Live in the D, attention shoppers. Are you looking for something unique for the holidays? This neighborhood is for you. We'll shop local next. But first, here's a check in with the local forecast. All right, Toddy, thanks so much. Good. Friday morning. We made it through another week. A pretty great weather week. We're in the 60s in a lot of locations. 63 at Metro, 62 in Howell and Pontiac. It's 64 in Mount Clemens. 
69 at least. We could certainly see 70 plus in many of your neighborhoods. Record is 68, so it's a big day today, but a, a swing in the wrong direction tomorrow. Cold, windy, and likely going to see some early morning rain showers and some afternoon, evening snow. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sandra Ali with this Local 4 News update. The EPA has amended an emergency order as it pertains to Flint's drinking water. The new amendment requires the state as well as Flint to do the following. Finish construction on new pipelines connecting the new source of water. Effectively treat the new water source for at least three months and also to have complete compliance with the Federal Safe Drinking Water Act. We are back with another update for you coming up in a half an hour. Live and the D continues right after this. Tonight at night. All right, you know malls can be kind of hectic this time of the year. We're heading into that season, but you can find perfect and unique items by visiting local downtowns. And why not shop in your local neighborhood? Megan Lee Isla is here. She's with our partners at Royal Oak Downtown Development Authority. Good to have you in studio. Thank you. It's wonderful to be yeah, here. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. You We're as a well. week away. Are you kidding? Know, right? Yeah. So well, let's talk about this. You brought all kinds of interesting things. Absolutely. So let's start down here. Okay. What we have for you today is from Nada and Company. This is a custom made sign. We also have. Uh, no, wait, who was that from? This is Nada and Company. Okay. We also have Gallery U Boutique. They, uh, they make uh, State of Michigan resin and stained glass wall. Uh, oh, very cool. Accessories. We also have a customized Santa sack from Bright Impression to go along with great Toyology toys right in front of you, as well as 515 mugs and t shirts. We have Funky 7 Comfy City of Detroit uh, shirt for you right here for the men, as well as Dapper House Barber and Shop customizable boxes. And so after I'm done with No Shave November, I know where to go, right? Yes, you okay. do. I okay. already have one on order. <laughs> okay. We also have Harley Quinn um, bar set from Scout. And these are for lovely necklaces for women. This is from La Rouge. This is also from Element Custom Jewelry Store. And right below that, is a UHF buy, sells, and trades that do everything with music you can possibly imagine. So we have the Prince Purple Rain album right on that table. Next to that is a Soul Sister shoes, which are just gorgeous, and they they're are. known for they're their like accessories. Trains. Look at this. And the deal of the century, ladies, these are $8 leggings, and they are fur-lined, and they come with high-waisted knit cut as well as fleece-lined leggings for $8. And it's where from, are those from? They're from Bataya. Okay. And right next to those are Lowly. This is one of their brand new Brooklyn vests. It has athletic cut with a 500 insulation to keep you warm very nice. this winter. Yeah. Um, this is from Saffron, a very boho chic type of modern couture uh, fashions for ladies. And this is part of it. Yes, yes, it is. Very cool. Stuff. And we're going to talk briefly about um, these mannequins right here as well as the dress that I'm wearing. Okay. Um, this is from Deanna Bacallo. She is a customized designer and she made that wonderful, beautiful gown right over here. It has leather detailing as well. I am wearing a maxi dress from Blue Jean Blues and in a beautiful, they're a limited time. And only. what I would call a jacket is actually part of the dress. Yes, is that this right? is a leather top uh, with uh -huh. a maxi skirt and it just flows as you walk. And they limited time only, I'm wearing the red one. She also has blue in stock. So let's go here, stay in the front. We'll just go down this way. Let's Absolutely. take a look at some of these other, because mannequins are big now. I yes, didn't know if you are. heard that. Yeah. <laughs> this beautiful jacket is uh, from the accessory shop. And this wonderful vintage dress and purse is from Will and Mina's Vintage a resale store. And lastly, because we got to talk about food around the holidays. So seasons. I'm going to eat the food and then I'm going to work out and use my whey protein. Yes, sir. Off, yes, right? sir. So after you <laughs> stuff your face with a beautiful German stolen from Herman's um, Bakery, oh, which has been great. in. Oh, it looks wonderful. Oh, They've yeah. been in a uh, shop for about 75 years come January. They also made this beautiful sugar cookie tower and it's just so good. You can eat it right now and you can work your way to a slimmer waist before Christmas with whey protein supplements and vitamins from the Michigan Nutrition Store. So I know Royal Oak to some extent, but I don't recognize every one of these stores. Are these really all within walking distance? Absolutely. So if I park, I can find all of these things pretty quick, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. So Royal Oak is known for the uh, restaurants and nightlife, but these boutiques and small shops are on Main Street as well as Washington Street, and they are just a few steps away. Great. Very cool ideas. Absolutely. Aren't Thanks they? for inspiring us to come to Royal Oak, and we just have our new food choice as well with Jim Brady. So <laughs> yes. it's Royal Oak Day around here. Yeah, entrees hey, and desserts. Yeah.
yeah, this season, uh, holiday season, don't forget you can shop Royal Oak where there are stores that you won't find anywhere else. For more information on this whole idea, you can go to their website, downtownroyaloak.org. Tati? Thanks, Chuck. I need to go to Royal Oak and do some shopping. Well, now it's time for Real Talk with Greg Russell, everyone. And we have a lot to talk about this weekend. Greg, mm -hmm. thanks for being here. Thank you course. for having me as always. Yes, now we, <laughs> the, the most anticipated movie is mm -hmm. Fantastic Beasts, which is the next installment of the Harry Potter franchise, mm -hmm. right? What's right. it all about? This one's all about there's a guy, he's a wizard. He comes over here from England in 1926, mm -hmm. and he has all his little magical things inside of his bag, but it gets stolen. In fact, mm -hmm. we've got a little bit of a clip to check out. No. Uh, Mr. Commander. It was open? Just a speech. Good stuff. So mm -hmm. what did you think? Is it going to live up to everyone's expectations? It probably will, but the thing is, I, I want to tell people, it's not, you know, the Harry Potter movie, mm -hmm. even though it's, you know, part of that whole franchise. So okay. it's a whole different thing, but it's enjoyable. It's definitely for older kids. So okay. we give it a three out of five. Bing! That's good. So moving Bing. on, Billy Flynn's long halftime walk has a great cast and a newcomer. That it does. In fact, I got to talk to the cast members about it. Ang Lee shot this in a whole new way, and here they are. But there were moments, you know, when you're also kind of watching the film, and you realize Ang Lee's prediction did come true, that you felt like you were in the scene, you were part mm -hmm. of it, especially the battle scenes. Uh, right. mm -hmm. I, was, I was scared. Right. And even, like, with your, own, with your characters, like, Chris, you're the kind of agent yeah. who's trying to help him. I think you had the cell phone with you for the first half of the movie the that you were in. Right. He was busy. He was busy really uh, working for these guys. And I only had them for a short time. Mm -hmm. And I knew they was going to get back, go, you know, go back out and be deployed. So I really wanted to, to prove to them that I was, uh, I was truthful and I was sincere, that I wanted to support these guys. So, yeah. Yep. And, and here you are. You own the football team. Mm -hmm. You're that guy. And you had the look. To, you know, yeah, of, what, yeah. of what you'd see as the owner. It's, uh, it's very fun to pretend to be quite powerful and mm -hmm. un uh, unflappable. Right. Right. Even though in life I'm very flappable. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like for you when you saw this movie? I mean, just with the way it's presented. Uh, the clarity and the sort of first person perspective that you get, it lodges you into something that, like, you just, you're, we're not well versed in. All right, how many reels do you give this one? It's got a wide range of... It does. We're giving this a two out of five. Okay. But like I said, it's a unique looking movie shot in 4K 3D. It's like me looking at you right now. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's talk about this one. Bleed for this. It's a new boxing drama. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's based off of a true story, really about this guy who was a champion who most people had never heard of. Mm. And he got into a tragic car accident, never thought he was going to walk again, but he does make it back to the ring. And here's what the stars had to say about that one. There's just this determination that even if you get knocked down, I mean, by something as bad as a car accident, yeah. you don't want to give up that fight. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, I grew up playing sports. That's something that I, you know, if you have a good coach that you really want to yeah. play for and you have good teammates, like, it's just something uh, that you're going to, you know, there's a lot of values that, that you can learn from sports, you know. Uh, in this case, Vinny, yeah. you know, literally got a car accident, you know, and, and broke his neck. and. Right faced impossible, I'm not even gonna say improbable, literally like impossible odds. I mean, it goes to show, never say never. I mean, you know, just you even using that line. Cause here's a guy who should have just, after the accident, that was it. That was it. Should have just been sitting at home in front of a TV. Yeah, I mean, this is a movie about dreams, about never giving up, about everybody telling you can't do it and you saying you can do it, mm -hmm. um, which is very inspirational. I mean, Vinny got in a car accident, broke his neck, was had a halo, with screws in his head, mm -hmm. and he was training. Uh, days later to be middleweight mm -hmm. champion of the world. Yeah. And um, that's why they call this the greatest comeback story in, in sports history. Um, but really, it's a movie about family. It's about right. the mother and the father and the trainer and um, what it takes to be a champion. All right, looks exciting. Go. How many reels for this we one? We give this one a three punch. 
out of five as Thank well. You. Okay, good. Very, very enjoyable and very inspirational. Good stuff. So now let's talk about this one. It's yes. a lot of talk around it. Mm -hmm. It's called Loving, a new dramatic romance that's right. based on a true story. Right. 1958, there was a white man and a black woman who were in love. They wanted to get married. They lived in Virginia. They couldn't do it there, so they go to Washington, D.C. to do it where it was legal. And they come back only to find out they broke the law. Oh, boy. And it's just this whole incredible story, and it was one that was not lost on the cast. Mm. It's just kind of strange. Two people who truly loved each other mm. had to go through so much heck yeah. <laughs> to get there. Right. You, know, you think about just, and that was like with, you know, not that long ago. Yeah, yeah on the timeline of the human race, it's bizarre oh. some of the things that we look back on in, mm -hmm. in very recent times and, and, and still today, obviously, with so many different issues. And, you know, I'm so happy that this movie exists, but, but mm -hmm. in many ways it would be great if it didn't have to exist. Right. No, I know for that mean. very reason, you know. Yeah, because like you said, you see this guy, you fell in love with him, you didn't look at him, I'm not quite sure, going, oh, he's blonde and blue-eyed, all right, but it's like, you're looking into his soul, and mm -hmm. that's who Ruth, or your character fell in love with. Because I think that it's one of those films that are sort of, you know, addressing the stories of, I call them like, forgotten soldiers, of, of struggles. Um, and I, because I think they're such a beautiful couple, mm -hmm. and I think it, you're right. The lo that love between them is so unique, and so I think it's what we all aspire to. Wow. Yeah. That's very good. Very good. Reels for this very one? deep four for all this right. one. I mean, definitely it's award season, mm -hmm. and this one will truly be there. Exciting. All right. So as you guys know, Greg always has a lot of great giveaways. What do you have for us? Well, not going to fail you today. Okay. Actually, we'll start out right here from the movie we just saw, Loving. We have an autograph poster signed by Joel Edgerton and also the director and writer, Jeff Nichols. This would be great for anyone's family room, yeah, theater absolutely. room, or whatever you may have in your home. And uh, like I said, this movie will be doing a lot of great things as far as awards. Awesome. Then also we've got this poster from Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. This one is signed by everyone in the movie. Kristen wow. Stewart, Chris Tucker, Garrett Hedlund, Ben Diesel, Steve Martin, and Joe Alwyn, and also the director, Academy Award winner, Ang Lee. Really? Uh, cool. Another one I think everybody would probably really want in their family room. Talk about a potpourri of interesting people involved in this movie. Oh, yeah. right, right. So what else do we have? We've got also, the new. Right, Fantastic Beast. And where to find them? We've got a great hat for you. Look that t-shirt too. Yeah. That's good. I want to be a wizard. There you go. Plus passes to see the movie and this wand. A wand. Which will make everything magically appear for everyone. Really, I would use that to kind of hold my bun up. That's okay, <laughs> okay. And then we've got for Bleed for This. Right, for Bleed for This, we have some movie passes so you can go out and check out the movie. Plus some boxing gloves so you know you can get out there and work your own stuff. And a water bottle for that, plus some mini posters uh, for that movie. Also for Loving, I also do have a pass. Whoever gets the poster mm -hmm. will also get a pass to see the movie. Good and then stuff. also over here, Finding Dory is coming out very, very soon. And uh, check it out. We've got Dory right there in the bowl. Not a real Dory. Not a real Dory. Not a real Dory. Not a real Dory. <laughs> but we, you can get Dory, the coffee mug, and also the octopus. Very for cool. your own home. And all you have to do is go to our Live in the D Facebook page and check out the uh, directions right there. There so you go. Some of this good stuff, stuff. Good luck. You. Good luck, everyone. Remember the rules for Greg's giveaways. You can find them at clickondetroit.com. Thank you, Tati. Greg, you know, weather is turning colder this weekend. We've heard that already, but there is a fun indoor event for the entire family, and you can do some bonding like I'm doing right now. Our, our partner at Dr. Elsie CFA International Cat Show is opening at the Suburban Collection uh, Showplace in Novi this weekend. We're joined now by uh, Megan and John uh, Heemstra, who are with us, and they're here from the show. Who did you bring with you, and who is it that I'm bonding with? Because this is a beautiful animal. They both are. This is a cream Selkirk Rex male kitten, about five months old. His name is Thriller. Because and his hair is like that all the time? Yep. Come on. <laughs> what a beautiful animal. Look at that me. face. Yeah. So uh, your cat is what? This is Jude. He is a um, <clears throat> blue mink Tonkinese. Oh my. And the nice thing, the special thing about uh, Tonkinese are those aqua eyes, which you can see. Yeah. yeah. So you've got cats from all over the world coming to mm -hmm. the show, right? We what do. kind of cats beyond the ones you brought with 41 you? 41 different breeds. We have Bengals, we have Persians, we have um, cats with ears that fold down, we have cats with ears that fold back. We have no tails and short tails and long tails. We have everything. Bobtails? Bobtails. Yeah. 
So you're a judge, right, John? Yes, I am. So tell us, how does that work? What do you look for in competition in terms of the cat? Each breed has something called a breed council. They develop a standard, and there's a booklet put together. So there's a written standard for every breed. Mm -hmm. It basically divides things up in terms of the head, the body, the coat. So this is a proportional judging, then, different, right? Different yeah. for every breed. Yeah, we look for one eye shape on this cat. Different gotcha. shape on this cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've got some fun stuff. What's Catopia? We what have Catopia that? has uh, three of our local um, uh, rescue organizations. We'll have kitties available for adoption. Mm -hmm. We have face painting for kids and adults. Uh, we have a photo wall where you can get your face painted and then take pictures with some giant posters of the kitties. And what about Meow Wall uh, or Mall? Meow what mall. is that? We have a bunch of vendors. Um, you can buy anything that you need for your cats uh, as far as supplies. Right. Yeah, we have litter, we have food, obviously Dr. Elsie's litter. Um, and we have um, clothing and jewelry and... For me or the cats? Art, both. <laughs> okay. And both. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, lots of lots and lots of things. So, so yeah, there'll be lots of shopping to do. Cat lovers paradise. Now, what kind of cat is that? That's a Persian. That's a. Is it really? Yes. Wow. Red Manx. tabby and white Manx. Mm -hmm. Look at how beautiful. So even if you don't own a cat and you just admire cats, this is still a great show, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a museum. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Living Museum. <laughs> well, we just want to remind everybody, Dr. Elsie's CFA International Cat Show is tomorrow. And Sunday, it's at the Suburban Collection Showplace in Novi. Doors open at 8.30 each day in the morning. Admission is 10 bucks for adults, 5 bucks for kids. If you want more information, just go to cfainternationalcatshow.org. And we've also got something special for you. We're giving away a family uh, pack, two adults, two tickets for kids. Go to our Live in the D Facebook page. You can enter there. The winner can pick up the prize at the show. And you can go either Saturday or Sunday. It's up to you. So thanks for that generosity. Rules are always posted at clickondetroit.com. More than a motor running here, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, Tati, <laughs> over to you. Thanks, Chuck. Well, from cats to dogs, everyone, next on Live in the D, the unique way dogs just like this sweetie pie are making a difference for children in the heart of Detroit. If you're in a... I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles. It's going to be a bright and sunshiny day. We hope you enjoy it before the rain and cold weather comes in. How'd I do, Chuck? You're a party pooper. <laughs> what do you mean? Just keep the sun. What do you mean, Stephanie? Don't, don't talk about rain and <laughs> snow and stuff. Thanks for being with us on Live in the D. Well, here we are, cats and dogs are living together, That's right? right, and we all know the comfort a pet can bring us at any time with their unconditional love. Yeah, and that comfort is being provided in courtrooms from kids or for kids who may face tough situations. Mitch Album shows us what's happening in the heart of Detroit. Dogs may be man's best friends, but when children have to testify in court, Dan Cogen's dogs are there to comfort them every step of the way. How did you get the idea for this? Actually, Amos's owner is the one that gave me the idea. I was getting ready to retire from the Oakland County Prosecutor's Office, and she had mentioned <laughs> that uh, they're doing this in Florida, and we didn't have it in Michigan. So I talked to every lawyer, judge, advocate, child advocacy clinic, and everybody, nobody could give me a reason why not. Dan started the Canine Advocacy Program six years ago in an effort to provide relaxation to the children that have to testify following a tragic experience. When these kids, when they show up for court, they are terrified. What we do is to get that anxiety down by using the dog. Dan has 23 dogs stationed around the state that are ready to jump into action. Dogs like Juno provide support or simply act as a pillow. And when children are called to the stand, the dogs never leave their side. Yet all of our dogs come from leader dogs for the blind. How old are the children? The youngest was three, and we've gone up to 17. They put a three-year-old on the stand? We had uh, two children, three and four, who actually made it through two preliminary exams. It's an experience that no child should ever have to face. But with the canine advocacy program, the kids don't have to face it alone. When we're, we're all done, and we walk the children right out to the car, to see, actually see a smile from going through this horrendous court system, uh, that's it. That's what keeps me going. With a belly rub and a good hug, Dan Cogen and the dogs of the Canine Advocacy Program are bringing comfort to children right here in the heart of Detroit.
What a blessing you are, Dan. Dan Cogent is here now. He joins us in the studio. Thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for having us. And tell us who's with you now. Well, we brought Amos today. He's our founding member of the Canine Advocacy Program. He's the first dog in the state of Michigan to do this type of work. I love his cookies. They're good. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was named after the cookies from his Was he really? Was he? Yes. Yeah. That's very, well, Amos is kind of relaxing right now, but he is a sweetie pie. Such yeah. a sweetie pie. How do dogs become a part of the program? We get all of our dogs from Leader Dogs for the Blind. They donate them. The career change dogs, dogs that are not going into service with a visually impaired person. I see. And if they have the right temperament, um, we are contacted and we place them with prosecutors offices around the state of Michigan. Wow. And I do all the courtroom training so that they're able to lay like this for extended yeah. periods mm -hmm. of time. And we see this in so many different walks of life. I'd yes. never heard of the courtroom, but you know, there are dogs in hospitals, so it, right. it really does add comfort to a lot of people. It does. I, the aim of the program is to reduce the anxiety mm -hmm. so that these kids can go in and do what they need to do. Yeah. Because our, our system is just not child friendly. Right. So if somebody's watching and they want to help by donating, how can people get involved? Oh, our website has a, a button to donate. Uh, my address is right there. If you want to send checks, we, uh, you know, ho hopefully we'll get some funding from a foundation or corporation along the way. So because we'd like to expand and provide even more services. Do you get feedback from the lawyers and the judges, the guys who we would think are kind of business? This, this is it, got to go. They love it. Yeah. yeah. I get most of my referrals from judges and law enforcement. Really? And they, they know that when that child gets on the stand, that they're, the child's going to be ready to testify. Right. Yeah. Right. The child's going to be calm. And the aim of the program is we want to do a little less harm than the system does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, we have tremendous support. And I'm, I, I assume the same from the families who have to testify. Yes. When, the, when, when we're done, I... Uh, I, I want to see a smile on that child's face because we walk them right out to the car. Wow. And um, we want to make sure they've had some, something positive yeah. out of this nightmare. Amos is giving us his best side right yes. there. Yes. So that, hey, it's we good to see you. Shot. Have a great holiday oh, season. Thank you very Thanks much. for all Thanks you for do. Thanks for having us. Yeah, good to see you.